Hello, this is Hasko of Hasko Gaming Inc. And today I'm going to be bringing you a little bit of a different game. It's a first person game, as you can see. And the idea here is to play and just I mean honestly there's no explanation there's exit so every journey is a series of choices the first is to begin the journey I can click on that and then it kinda condenses to there I guess yeah I can click on it again this game's been out for a little while now I've seen a little bit of it already so there's some things that I know but Let's jump right in. So, speaking of jumping, jump. So it looks like space is to... Okay, looks like I missed that one. And I am now here. Click here. Failing to succeed does not mean failing to progress. Okay. Let's go in here then. Very weird game. Look here. Some paths are clearer than others. Okay, oh, very blinding white light there. Now, this is the game's only failure state, and it's not actually a failure state. So, I have to decide between these two tunnels. If I come up through the blue one, and I find myself faced with two passages. Unfortunately, my mouse just shut itself off there, which is lovely. Let's give it a minute to reconnect. There we go. It does that sometimes. A choice may be as simple as going left or going right. So let's try the red, since the blue doesn't work. This, as I think I mentioned, is one of the things that I've already seen, but still, it's awesome. The choice doesn't matter if the outcome is the same, so I can keep going through both of those infinitely. In any kind of order that I please. However, you know what? I'm done with this. I'm gonna go... What? Sorry, a little, a little bit of a lag spike there, but... As you can see, going backwards, when you return to where you've been, things aren't always as remembered. So this will bring me through this series of rooms. When I get back to the menu room, I'm going to have to turn the mouse sensitivity up a bit. This is quite low. And there, there it goes again. It's been getting worse and worse lately. I might try switching mouse, switching mice or switching to a different USB port for it. Okay. Some choices leave us running around a lot without really getting anywhere. So I'm now just in this room. I have to press escape and I'm back here. And let's see if I can just Ah. That feels that would feel much better if my mouse worked. One moment here. Just gotta do some USB rearrangements. I think one of the USB ports on my computer is actually broken, so that might be the cause of all these problems. And there we go. We could go back there. We also fell down a bit there, and there's looks like that was the exit there's those paths and that was where we had to leave so here walk so if I just walk off well that didn't do anything from here I can just get right back into the exit now sir, I know the answer to this is just to hold shift and actually walk across normally and it creates that bridge that you saw there 
So, here's one of those little paintings. Taking the first step to be harder than the rest of the challenge. Okay, I can go right or left here. I'm gonna go this way. We often fall into things when we least expect. So, oh dear. Speaking of least expecting, oh my. Uh. Hmm. Well. This is a place. I'm assuming I can get out of here. Okay, yes I can. It'll just form a staircase for me. Okay, I was trying to avoid that. I guess I should have jumped around the edge. Taking the first step. Okay, so there's that one. Let's go for... Uh, there we go. Uh, how do I get over this? Looks like I can't get over that just yet. Jump. I sim oh my. I didn't think I could get up that, but small steps can take you great distances, so I guess... Yeah, a staircase formed underneath me there. Yeah, this feels much better with the uh, lower sensitivity, so... With the higher sensitivity. So it looks like my move... The more I move, that, the more that ball moves, and more of those lasers appear. Maybe if I just walk... There's a screen there. So here's a thing. Taking one path often means missing out on another. So I've missed out on that path now. Let's go down this way. Okay. There's the end. But it's blocked off a little bit. So I guess I can't get into the end yet. Oh my. Well that just happened. What's this? Oh. I'm back here. So at any time I can really just go back. So... There's that. There's that. And I believe I was here. So... Can I go around the side of the... Oh, well, that's weird. Is that actually just... Hmm. It's interesting. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of stuttering here. I tried to go into an options menu, and then it, this was the only options menu provided, so... Let's get back there. Let's try... Actually, let's see if we can go somewhere else. Let's go... Taking baby steps. What happens if we just rush right through? Aha. Then this side opens. Interesting. Some paths are straightforward. It keeps dropping me down things, doesn't it? Okay. Life has a way of pushing us in the right direction. So there's a thing over there. I missed it though, and now I'm right back here. That looked like an interesting way of going. Let's go right back here. I think that's where I was. Yes. Yes, this is the whole paths are straightforward thing. And then right there is this. Pushing us in the right direction. Now do I have to walk over this as well? Yes. Oh, there's a barrier there. I can go around it though. And now I'm here. 
It's an interesting little thing. Here's a. I thought that was a bunny, but it's also a duck. It's cool. How we how we perceive a problem can change every time we see it. That makes sense given what they showed there. There's an eye here. Looks like it's going to be closing. Blinking. It blinked. Oh my. That's weird. The solution to a problem may just require a more thorough look at it. So it looks like... Wait, if I move, the bridge disappears. Okay. If I don't move that much, if I simply walk over slowly, I'll be able to get over. Moving through a problem slower may help find the solution. I like that it gives the answers to all of these things after you've already solved them. Up. Up. Something up there, apparently. Is that an elevator of some kind? So here's a thing. Blocking the way. I click it. Nothing. Nothing. Hmm. It's a weird, this is a weird place though, you know? It's a little bit weird just to have... Okay, can I get in there at all? I guess not. I think I might have hit a dead end for now. Yeah. Oh well. So, I guess I'll just go back across the bridge. and back through that little gateway. I might have to come back here later when I can get through. So it looks like I'm just gonna have to stare at this a little bit longer. This is a weird game. I have no idea how long I've been recording, but... There's a timer right at the start, so the other way... is just a, a door, I guess. Oh, wait. Wait. So when I look at it, it goes down, so can I just walk through it backwards? Hmm. A few steps backwards may keep you moving forwards. As I said, always uh, giving you the answer right after you've found it. Okay, this game is cool. So that way is normal, but if you look at it this way, it's got something in there. So it looks like, oh, wait, what? Wait, what? Did I just go to a different room? What? How does that work? A window of opportunity can lead to new places if you are willing to take a closer look. That enormous mustache? Apparently not. Then oh, I can't follow it. That's oh, that's glass. I see. Oh my. So there's the room with the weird window. Okay. Here's zebra striped hallway. Getting progressively darker. Got some weird noises going on. Lovely. Uh, we are now in pitch darkness. Just gonna keep walking forwards. Okay. We have some light here. So, I think it was... I was moving this way. 